So, Show Me Fly Guy at showmeflyguy.com sent me this badge, this plaque with some flies in it. Does that mean I'm like I'm on the pro staff? I've never been the pro in nothing. So having a pro badge, man, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Like, thanks. Thanks, Tyler. That's my guy right there. He's a super good guy, ties flies and sells them on Etsy. He does fly boxes and stuff. So go check out his website at right there. Show me fly guy blogspot.com. I got these Amqua uh, little jig hooks. And because they were out of the barbless, I've just been pinching the barb. So I got to use these up. And I'm going to show you a fly that's been treating me real good here as of recent. Just a good, good little midge pattern. But let's see, I need some thread. Some thread for this. So let's get a hook in the vise and let's tie some flies. After I put the tip of the thread in, uh, just one little little hack is place the as much of the tip of the thread in there as possible. Give yourself some slack enough for it to go through completely through the tube and then you just suck on it and then it just comes out i know that's kind of nasty but it's just a little fly tying hack this is a little size 18 and so this bead is a 2.5 slotted tongue it's kind of like a chrome nickel and just put down a quick little Thread base. And I'm just gonna kind of make a few wraps behind them beads. So I'm just building a tiny, tiny little taper. Okay, we'll stop about right there. Okay, so the first material I'm gonna tie in is I've got some CDL some Coke de Leon and I want this tail about the about the length of the body so I'm just gonna take my time and just do a real careful wrap and try to keep these on the top and bring my thread back This. Next, I've got a piece of extra small UTC wire in silver. So we're just going to take, we're just going to capture the tip of that. I'm going to tie that wire in on the side of the hook. And now I'm just going to build up just a little tiny bit of a taper, not much. See how small that fly is. And then I'm gonna hang this over my cradle. So now we're gonna take our wire and we're just gonna give this body, give this fly uh, some ribbing. This just ribs the fly, it gives it the segmentation. Um, just kind of similar to a zebra midge. But this fly smokes. I'm talking smokes. A zebra midge. We'll capture that. Get our cradle out of the way. Give that wire one or two wraps. Bring a couple in front. Um, bend it back and forth or you can spin it off. Okay, so next I've got some loom UV resin. And I'm just going to dab. A little bit of that on there that's a little too much if you get it on a little thick just touch it with your finger you want to make sure that it's not so thick that you can't see the ribbing you want to be able to see the ribbing of that wire I think it's very important and so just getting a nice coat 
It's going to add durability to the fly and it's going to give it some UV properties. So then we're going to take our UV light and we're just going to cure the resin. Okay, so after you've cu cured your resin, um, next we're going to take our little angel hair, which is just mylar. Um, it's just a dubbing. I'm going to take this gray color right here. It's gray and gold. So I've got just like two or three strands. And I'm just going to spin up a dubbing, little tiny dubbing noodle. And I'm going to go ahead and give this a couple wraps back. And then in front, I'm going to take and uh, go ahead and whip finish this. But this is not the end of the fly. We've got one more critical step here that I consider maybe the most important part. Okay, so now I'm just going to, I just added a, a 6 aught super fly to another bobbin and I'm gonna take this I'm gonna take my umqua I'll show you this is the other way you can thread a bobbin this is just called a bobbin threader I'll link everything down below in the description but what you do is you take and you squeeze this together you insert that into the tip press that push it through like that and then all you do is just you put your thread hopefully you can see that so you put your thread through there and then you just just pull this out and your thread will come through. 12 out would be better, but I don't have any. The smaller thread you use on a smaller fly is obviously better, but we're just going to take and we're going to tie in this red right here on the front. Clip that off. couple wraps just to create a hot spot and take our wet finish tool here and just give that a couple wraps I don't need to tie it off too many times so the, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take our water base head cement just a tiny drop the good thing about the water base is that it soaks in real good so I'll go over the materials here with you guys in just a second, but that's the fly. It's just a good little pattern. Um, I think it does a good job of imitating a midge because of the size, but it could also mimic a small betis mayfly nymph. Um, it's just a good pattern with the hot spot and it catches fish. But now let's go over all the materials. 